in spark sql module what you need to learn is so this is a data frame right you have a data frame how will you create this that is exactly what you are learning you are not learning anything else in spark sql module because once you have a data frame either you run a sql query or or you can run your own queries now one way you can create a data frame is from an rdd you have an rdd you can call it and say convert this rdd to a data frame i'll practically show you okay but there can be uh, situations where your data is an rdd and you want to convert that into a structure like a data frame so i can call a function to create a data frame for me second thing if i have a csv file right from the csv file i can directly create a data frame since it is structured file right third is if i have an xml file right i can create a data frame this from this guy fourth is if i have a json file right i can create a data frame from here uh then if you have a parquet file so these are all different file formats okay i can again create a data frame from this parquet file right um uh, text xml ha huh. now if you have an rdbms table this is an rdbms table i have a table from this table i can read and create a data frame i'll show you this practically from my sql will read okay this is very useful sometimes um like in ge we have a situation where you have a, they have they use green plum green plum is data warehouse okay so their primary data is in green plum hmm? and then they have some data in spark it's in hadoop cluster right uh, now sometimes they want to do a join operation in spark spark sql now one table is already in spark the second table is in green plum so instead of rdbms here it can be green plum also any sql store so if i have if i have green plum here using the driver i can say read it into a data frame then i do join so that means spark can actually get the data from any sql store oracle green plum teradata anything on the fly and then it will represent as a data frame and then it can you can do whatever you want right also you can create from hive very important hive right hive is by default your data warehouse on hadoop where you create all the tables and all if i have a table in hive i can read and then create a data frame from hive also any no sql database any any no sql you have you can read this is the true power of their data frames like right? from any source you can get the data and you can put ulta like you can read from cassandra dump it into as an rdd or read from json save it into green plum because read and write is possible right so once you have a data frame you can also save it i can say i have a data frame here i want to save it as a table in hive save it in a table in rdbms or save as a csv file or say whatever only thing you should be aware of the schema and how to save it should match with your requirement and all but read and write from any of these sources are possible and in our course i will show you how to read from hive rdbms parquet rdd csv xml json no sql i don't have right now uh, no sql we used to read from mongodb so mongodb there is a connector using that you can read a collection and create a data frame very much so once you know this rest story is very easy in spark version 1 we had an object called sql context object this is where in spark version 1 we also had another object called hive context so this guy was used to talk to spark sql this guy was used to talk to hive from spark hmm? in the new spark 2 you have only spark session so we call it as just spark object right but what the community has done they have retained the support for the backward compatibility so even in spark 2 you can create this object and call the data possible so sometimes you will see that because somebody could have written a code in spark 1 okay we had that issue in one place somebody could have written a code in spark 1 and that will say sql context 
and when they migrate to Spark 2, they don't want to rewrite the entire stuff. So the same code can be retained. So if you see the SQL context, Hive context, these are the objects we use in Spark 1, especially. In Spark 2, there is only something called Spark session. Spark, that's all you have, right? But these things you might see in old version, Spark 1. Tungsten is a project, again, from uh, Apache Spark. Tungsten, the whole idea of Tungsten is to speed up your uh, Spark processing, be it RDD, be it data frame or anything. But the majority of contribution is on data frames, actually. Because Spark says RDDs, anyway, there is no optimization possible. So, data frames are the future, that is what Spark says. So, uh, this Tungsten project uh, uh, is actually used to encode and decode your data. So, when you actually store your data, right, how it will store? So, I say in Spark SQL create a data frame and then I will just want to store it somewhere. So, Tungsten has something called encoders which will help you to encode the data and store and then decode it. Um, I will probably talk about it in the uh, data set <coughs> section. We have a data set section, there I will talk about tungsten, project tungsten.